I'm Meg McNamara. Thanks so much for checking out this WJZ.com update. No shortage of clouds and rain today. So the radar and satellite covered, and you can see some pockets there of heavy showers. I think by the time we're done with this, most areas will have seen half an inch to one inch of rain. I think we'll be done after dinner time. So we have a ways to go. As for temperatures here across the state, Baltimore 43, Annapolis a few degrees warmer than that, Cambridge 48, folks there in Hagerstown, low 40s for you as well. And the winds, they are out of the north here. Baltimore, not too bad, right around three miles an hour right now. Annapolis, though, nine, picking up to 11 there for folks in D.C. The radar and satellite. So what we have is low pressure tracking through all this rain associated with that low pressure. And you'll notice here, those areas of blue, remember that's snow, and then the pink is ice and sleet. So some of that moving near western Maryland for sure. The future cast, we're still seeing rain at dinner time, right around 5 o'clock, and then we really don't see it clear out until 8 or 9. Now by tomorrow morning we wake up to a rather nice dose of some sunshine there that sticks around throughout the day. Here we are on Thursday, a similar picture. We do have this cold front. This will move through late Thursday night into Friday and that's really going to knock down our temperatures. It is going to be chilly. You'll see what I mean when we get to the five day there. Should be fairly quiet though over the next couple of days. We just have to get through today. As for overnight temperatures, yes, Baltimore, we're going to dip down to 39 degrees tonight, upper 30s generally over the area. By tomorrow, this high of 52, mostly sunny. Thursday, mostly sunny again, high of 55. And then Friday, though, we're going to stop in the mid 40s Friday night dipping down to 23 degrees Saturday night 29 so oh boy yes it is officially feeling like fall I'm Meg McNamara with an update coming up on WJZ